So let me explain the title. I live in a small town surrounded by thick woods and there's a few other towns nearby. When my mother and I had first moved here, I had decided to go explore the woods. As I was walking, I found a bunch of huts made out of sticks. Then I walked to a river and heard heavy breathing behind me. But when I turned around, nothing was there. I decided it was best to get out of there as quickly as possible. A few weeks ago, I went back to the same area of the woods and I saw a shadow of someone behind me and heard footsteps. I'm not sure if it was an actual person, but I ran out of there not wanting to find out. Recently, my girlfriend had a dream that she was in her kitchen and looked out the window. There was a creature who looked like it was rotting. Its joints were all backwards and it looked humanoid and part goat. According to her, it looked like it looked at her and it made a strange scream. She then woke up. The next day she was having a conversation with her little sister. When she heard a voice outside, she paused in the middle of her sentence and freaked out when she heard a scream similar to the one in her dream. I've been hearing knocking at my window and I'm not happy about it. I've set up bowels, bowls of salt in my room, cleansed with bells and rose petals and more. I'm just terrified if whatever is getting in. So me and my friends go to this private school and we're all pretty stupid, funny, lame, smart kids, you know. And so I know no one will ever believe us, but I swear on my life, this happened. This happened when I was young. So on Halloween, we went up to the school for a Halloween party with our grade. We were and still are kids, and we all just had fun and played around like we were supposed to. But later on in the night at like 8 o'clock p.m., I was getting food since they just served it out when I, I heard some heavy pounding near the basketball court by where we were. I looked around to see if anyone noticed it but it didn't look like they did because they just kept talking so I thought it was a little, a little weird but me being a horror loving kid me I went towards the noise to investigate it because I thought it'd be cool as soon as I went to the basketball court my funny demeanor dropped when I saw no one ever no one ever believed me but I swear on my life I saw a giant ass tall black figure it was it was nighttime so I had a hard time seeing and I didn't have my glasses so I couldn't make anything out but what I saw was an all black creature with claws I almost dropped my food but as soon as I blinked the thing was gone I looked around to see if anything happened, but it didn't. I thought I was going insane or high from how much sugar I had. But I left it alone because I knew kids like me see stuff, see stuff like that. that. But it, it isn't true. But something about the way it stared down at me, I can't shake it to this day. I went back with my friends and didn't bring it up knowing that they won't believe me. But a couple of days later, me and my friend group were at our after-school program when we started talking about the party and a couple of my friends saw some weird stuff too. One of my friends said she saw a napkin that was reddish, but not really. She thought some kid had a nosebleed, which one person did. 
and left the Nackens there by accident. She didn't want to touch it though, so she left that alone too. Another one of my friends the day before swears on her life that when she was ready to get picked up by the bus, she saw a creepy mask, like from one of those killer movies like Halloween. She saw it was also reddish, but she also left it alone thinking not, nothing of it and from the basketball court early in the night of the party, so he went to check it out and swears he saw the same mask my friend, my other friend did, but me yeah. being semi-scared about how my friends also witnessed something weird that night. I told them what I saw. They believed me and said something about that night was off. Although nothing strange happened ever again, it still gives me chills to this day. When I was about three or four, my mom would usually drop me off at my babysitter's house. There was this rare occasion where she wasn't available at that time, and I had to be taken to my grandparents' house. When we pulled up, there weren't any cars in the driveway, meaning that I would be home alone. I begged and pleaded with my mom, but she left work. I went upstairs since. That was the only visible light source there, and I didn't understand how lights worked. Lights worked. I sat on the couch in that hallway and waited. I didn't know how much time had passed since I sat down, but I was terrified since A... I was home alone, and B, my family loved to watch horror movies, and being young, I assumed they were real. I sat rest restlessly in that chair for at least an hour until I heard Freddy Krueger's song. One, two, three, Freddy's coming for you. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. I didn't know what was going on. My heart was hammering in my chest, and I started crying and screaming bloody murder my throat throat felt raw but if there was someone with me in that house trying to pull some prank they didn't stop when they heard young me beginning to brawl my eyes out bawl my eyes out the song could continued it became increasingly louder three four better lock your doors and i ran into my grandfather's room and hid behind the bed before moving to hide under the covers eventually it came to a stop i pulled out the covers and stepped out of the bed nothing but something felt wrong still without a second thought i ran down the stairs Unlocked the front door and sat out on the front porch. The sun was rising and I waited for a few minutes until my grandma finally came home from work. She asked me why I was outside, but I can't remember exactly what I told her that day. The only thing I know is, I, is that I never told any of them about the events that happened that night. To this day, I still don't know how it all even happened, but that it did. If it was my uncle or brother, I don't understand why they never came out to stop me. A young child from a young child from stepping out onto the front porch of the house or put their antics to stop when I started screaming and crying for my mom. Both were teens at the time and genuinely I don't know if it was all in my head because if it was Young me had one hell of an imagination. <laughs>